Aren't you supposed to be doing your review? What review? Your music review. Oh, yeah, that. I'll do that later. No, now. I seriously said later. No, now. Look, I said, no, oh shit. Okay, dude, I'll do it. But what's with the knife? Oh, just cut the sandwich. Falling in reverse. In 2006, lead singer Ronnie Radke was involved in an altercation in Las Vegas that resulted in the fatal shooting of 18-year-old Michael Cook. Now that's way too close to my name. Anyway, while Radke did not shoot Cook, he was indicted on battery charges. These charges, combined with Radke's past troubles with narcotics and rehab, led to a sentence of five years probation. He failed to report to his parole officer and was arrested in June 2008, where he was sentenced to two years in prison. In 2010, upon Radke's release, Falling in Reverse began recording for the first time and after some difficulties and member changes, the band has currently settled on members Ronnie Radke, Jackie Vincent, Derek Jones, Ron Ficaro, and Ryan Seaman. Seriously? Okay. Anyway, they released their first album, The Drug In Me Is You, which to me is well put together and well composed, except for the fact that it seems that half the time, Ronnie is just throwing insults and showing aggression towards his previous band, Escape the Fate. As seen in the lyrics, I dug a hole 10 miles wide so I could throw all of you inside, from the song Tragic Magic, 10 miles wide being a song off the Escape the Fate album, This War is Ours. And the lyrics such as, friends, who the fuck needs them, you know who you are. I don't need to explain that, that's obvious on drum. With this in mind, I did some research on Ronnie's statements about the band in which he said, they make a whole album called This War Is Ours, and then they try to say, we didn't name the album after you, dude, which in fact, they did. I could be wrong, they could be talking about the war on terrorism or something, I don't know, but I just have a feeling that the record name was about me. They talk a lot of shit, it is always about forgive and forget, but there's some things that I would like to say, so I did, on the record. Okay, so I'm starting to notice that this guy is a bit arrogant. And he shows his arrogance through his music. Which is not a good thing in my perspective. But who knows? In late 2012, they released their new album, Fashionably Late. And I thought to myself, maybe he's changed a bit. Maybe he's a little bit nicer than he used to be. So the new single alone was released off the album. And I decided to review this song to see if there's any change in Ronnie's attitude. White boy on the beat, rocking Gucci sneaks. All, 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 all I do is win. Tr 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 Charlie Sheen. No, no, I'm not doing your books. No, no, no. no. White boy on the beat rocking Gucci sneaks? Who the hell cares what kind of sneakers you're wearing? And did he seriously make a reference to Charlie Sheen, one of the most famous drug users of all time, when he himself has been in rehab for narcotics? Is he out of his freaking mind? Started out in 06 and revived the scene. Uh, so many motherfuckers wanna be like me. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely not one of these motherfuckers trying to be like him. I mean, good lord, it's like he took his arrogance and injected it with a Bronton cocktail of steroids, ecstasy, and speed. I mean, what is wrong with you, Ronnie? Can't you even be just a little bit humble? Came from the lowest of lows, rose to the top with the vision. My haters talking shit while washing dishes for a living. Not even close. How arrogant and rude can you get? Fuck you bitches, I'm a business, I be kissing on your missus what? No, no, you will not be kissing my missus, okay? What you spend in 15 months is what I spend in 15 minutes what? I don't give a damn what you spend in 15 minutes All that proves to me is that you are a bad investor <laughs> Neither do I about you <laughs> I wish I didn't I don't think you can tell. I wish there was if it's a plug for your amplifiers, please do. Fuck you! Help me! Go! We're good. Well, at least after statements like that, he made it perfectly clear that he does not want to be bothered by any of us mother -kers, And he wants to be perfectly alone. If you don't want to be alone, 
don't threaten and insult half the world. I mean, this song doesn't make any sense at all. You're like a desperate, obsessed boyfriend. You're driving us away in the verses, but then in the chorus begging for us back? I'm gonna need church to cleanse me of this god-awful song. Padre, he cometido uno de los peores pecados. Dime, mi hijo. He escuchado el canción Alone, The Falling in Reverse, más de siete veces. Padre, no hay perdonanza para un pecado así. No! You see what you did, Ronnie? You've condemned my soul to hell. I count a lot of people talking nothing but chatter. Why, why, why'd you switch your style up and that I don't matter? Only one here talking nothing but chatter is you, Ronnie. Man, I've been in rap since I was shitting in pampers. Climbed the ladder to the top and now I'm shitting on rappers. There is no way you can make that line sound good. You've been in rap since you were shitting in Pampers? One, Pampers, product placement. Two, that line is not, and never will be, cool. And what rapper are you shitting on? Cause so far, they are all, absolutely all, better than you. All I do is work straight up hustling blinds. That's not work, you lazy son of a- So many people mad at me for crossing the line. Wait, 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 wait. You mean the line that you yourself drew in the first place? So you draw a line, and then you yourself cross your own line? Then what the hell is the point of the fucking line? I'm sorry to the fans for freaking out. It's just this song, in my point of view, just keeps getting worse and worse. I, I find it kind of funny the shit you say in your tweets, but when we're face to face you ain't got nothing if you find the tweets funny, why the hell are you so pissed off about it enough to write a song about it? Uh, and I'd love to say this crap to your face. I don't care if you were involved in the murder of a guy named Michael Cook, whose name is dangerously close to mine. I'm sorry, Mr. Radke. You go on to keep doing what you're doing. You're, you're great. You're great. I mean it. I mean it. So fuck you, What? I was just doing what I thought you wanted me to do. Fuck you, Ronnie! So fuck you, no, fuck you! So fuck you, no, fuck you! Never take a step back before I call up the club. What crew? You basically just drove them all away by threatening to make out with their girlfriends. You talk a lot of shit, but you spread nothing for love. I'm not spreading lies. I'm just stating my opinion and certain facts. I am just a critic and I am expressing my freedom of speech. My eyes are open. It's my ears I wish I could shut. This crap is unbearable. <sighs> At least it can't get any worse than this. On that wreck, fly like a jet. Switching my lanes like I'm racing a vet. I'm on that next. Girl of sex, no doubt I'm on top of the world, break your neck. I spoke way too soon. I have nothing to say about those lines. They make no sense to me at all. In their defense, they could do so much better. The band has a lot of talent, and they could really make it in this world. I spoke to a very close friend of mine, and I was informed that even though I see it in this way, there's still other ways that other people could see this. For example, maybe he's just expressing a form of anger and hatred and saying what a lot of people have on their minds. Therefore, he's only speaking from the point of view of other people. So I guess the song is not all bad. But still, he could do so much better. If he would just quit his arrogance and be a little bit more mature for once, he could be on the top of the world like he says in his song. Granted, a lot of people look up to him, including close friends of mine, so I have to admit, they're not that bad of a band. They just make really poor decisions and very bad lyrical choices. All he needs to do is just drop his grudge and move on. So far, this is a step backwards at the top of 80 flights of stairs, falling down with a glass jar collection at the bottom. I'm Mikey Rook, and this is Critical Hits, and I need therapy. <sighs> It all started in 06, Falling in Reverse was formed, and that's when the nightmares began. Walk into the club like, what up, I got a big pack. I'm just pumped, I bought some shit from a thrift Whoa. shop. Ice on the fringe is so damn frosty, the people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Rolling in hella deep, headed to the mezzanine, dressed in all pink, 7.5 in 
my gator shoes, those are green drapes and a leopard mink, girl standing next to me. Probably